Soybean podworm is a really, really old insect. This insect actually has several different accepted common names like tomato fruit worm, corn ear worm, soybean pod worm because it generally feeds on the pods of soybean plants, and sorghum head worm is another one. So I'm working on an experiment testing whether fecundity of female corn ear worm moths differs um, with mating events and or different sugar sources. And by fecundity, we mean the number of progeny, or in this case, just eggs that can be laid by each female. The official name, I believe, is soybean podworm fecundity differs with mate availability and sugar source. Um, and we're just calling it soybean podworm fecundity. Yeah, we had some prep to do. We had to get the actual moths, and the easiest way to do that was to order them from insect supply, and they shipped them to us through the mail as pupae. Then we made the sugar solutions, 10% solutions. We have them set up in gallon jars. We had to wash those out and let them air dry for a few days. We had to cut some mesh strips out that the moths could hang on to because they don't do a whole lot of moving around during the day. And we, we generally call this type of activity crepuscular. Crepuscular means active at dawn and dusk, not fully during the day, which would be diurnal, and not fully at night, which is nocturnal. Every day at three, we go down into our lab where we keep the moss, and there's 25 of them, five groups of five. Each jar has its different sugar solution. Uh, we take the moth out, collect the mesh, just count how many eggs, and then count all the eggs that are in the jar. I record it, destroy all the eggs so we know how many are for tomorrow, and put the moth back in, and wait another 24 hours, and then count how many eggs again. For all 25 jars, it's been taking around an hour and a half. Each one is getting around 50 to 200 now, and it's been expected that they could get up to 500 or 1,000 a day. So it's just gonna keep increasing. So if you have a field of, say, sorghum that is heavily infested with sugarcane aphids, many aphid species secrete honeydew, which is very much sugar water, very concentrated though. These moths have been seen feeding on that sugar solution. We're wondering if around this infested sorghum field, if you have some soybean fields, then do you get a higher number of caterpillars showing up in the soybean fields? We're hoping it'll say something like that, and we're also going to test it in the field uh, later this summer. Mama.